What is it, mommy? What is it, mommy? Looks like a package from your father. It's come all the way from Europe. Wow, I wonder what's inside. Hi, honey. How is your trip in Europe? Great. Did you get the gift I sent for Misty? Why, yes. In fact, Misty is playing with it right now. Misty, time to take a bath. Okay, but can I bring my new toy with me? Of course, it's even come with a shower cap. That's just perfect to wear in the bath. Misty, don't forget your new shower cap. By the way, what's the name of your toy? Oh, mommy, it's called Nabiland. When Misty put the rabbit-shaped shower cap on, she began feeling very peculiar. What Misty didn't know is that the shower cap had magical powers. All of a sudden, Misty began shrinking. The bubbles in the bath got bigger and bigger as Misty got smaller and smaller. Misty became so small that she was the same size as her new toy, Nobby Land. Where is this bubble taking me? The bubbles carried Misty and Nobby Land all the way into the water pipes below the bathtub. I bet we're going to the ocean. We are? But who are you? I am Shinky, the blue monkey. See, here comes the ocean. Whoa! When they reached the ocean, a pink lightning bolt struck Navi Land, sending everyone flying into the air. A great thunderclap followed the pink lightning. Boom! The sun flag jumped up into the sky, turning into Navi Land. Are you sure we are okay? Of course! The flag got bigger and bigger. You see, Misty? Navi Land is the magical world where people and animals are friends and we all help each other. I love helping my friends. Your journey to Navi Land began when you put on your shower cap. You see, all of your friends in Navi Land have magical shower caps just like yours. Misty, time to breakfast. Okay, Mom, I'll be there in a minute. Hmm, I wonder what happened to my new friend, Shinky. Shinky? Shinky, are you in here? I'm over here! A voice said from underneath Misty's bed. Oh, there you are. Come on, it's time for breakfast. And today is my birthday. Mom, can I sing you and I bake a cake for my birthday party today? No, oh, I'm leaving for yoga class soon and I'm afraid Shinky can't cook. Ding dong! Misty, it's Ken! Good morning, Ken! Come on in! Misty, who's your new friend? His name is Sinki. He lives in Naviland. Nice meet you, Sinki. Misty, why don't you and your friends start decorating for your birthday party? But please don't make too big of a mess. Okay, Mom. Thanks for your help decorating. 
Misty said as she brought in some flowers that she picked from the garden. Hey, Sinky, can you bake a cake? But of course I can. Sinky, are you sure you know what you're doing? But of course, Shinky said as he poured all of the ingredients into the sink and began stirring it with his hands. After preparing the cake mix, Shinky threw it into the blender and turned it on. You forgot to put the lid on. My birthday cake. It's okay. I have a little bit more money. We can buy a cake. Great idea, Cam. I have some money saved in my piggy bank too. Hey, Sinky. Can you drive us to the store? But of course. Sinky. Are you sure you can drive? Shinky swerved back and forth down the road. Just as the three of them left to buy a cake, Shinky's friend Gordon the Panda showed up. He was looking for Shinky. I wonder where Shinky's going. Hmm, I wonder whose house this is. As he walked around the house, he noticed that the back door was open. Guess I'll just wait inside. Oh, a fishing pole. Gordon began swinging the fishing pole back and forth, knocking over pictures and even catching the vase of flowers that Misty had picked from the garden. Wow, this is so fun. Having become bored with the fishing pole, Gordon sat down and picked up a card he saw lying on the floor. Wow, looks like a treasure map. And this must be a treasure box set. I must go find my hidden treasures. Gordon exclaimed as he hurried away on his hunt. There's a grocery store right there. Where? Right there. Pull over. Let's go park the car. Misty, Shinky, and Ken finally got to the cake shop. Oh, which cake should I choose? I think you should get the chocolate one. Okay, let's get it. Shinky, watch out! The trees yelled as Shinky drove off the road. Shinky, are you sure you can drive? Of course. When they got home from the cake shop, the house was a complete mess. My party. It's okay, Bisty. I'll call my friends and ask them to come over and help clean up. Thank you, Shinky. And just like that, all of Shinky's friends from Nobby Land got together and came over to Misty's to help clean up. Hello, my friends, Jinky exclaimed as they walked in the door. Soon, the room was back to normal. The decorations were back on the walls and the balloons were back in the air. Jinky, where is my birthday cake? Oh, we left it in the car. I'll go get it. Oh, no. Ken said as Shinky returned from the car holding a bent-up box. Cake was coming out of the sides. Oh, Shinky, you're crazy driving ruined my cake. Soon, Misty's mother returned home from yoga class. Misty, why you are you crying? My birthday cake. Oh, don't worry. I've got one for you. Let's get ready for the party. Oh, thank you, Mom. Soon, Misty's friends arrived. <laughs> Mom, look at all of the gifts they brought. I know. Come, 
Let's all go inside and have some cookies and juice. As everyone went inside, Gordon returned, having followed the treasure map back to Misty's house. These must be the treasure boxes. A stuffed animal, a pair of pink shoes. What kind of treasure is this? What on earth are you doing? A treasure map led me to this house. There are my treasure boxes. These aren't treasure boxes. They're birthday presents, and the treasure map is an invitation to Misty's birthday party. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Let's rewrap these gifts and go inside. Hey, guys. It's time to sing a happy birthday to Misty. Happy birthday. Everyone gathered around and sang happy birthday to Misty. Misty took a deep breath and made a wish as she prepared to blow out the candles. Just as Misty was about to blow out the candles, she heard her mother's voice and found herself back in the bathtub. All right, Misty, time to get out of the bath. Misty's mother said as she took Misty's shower cap off. Misty couldn't quite remember her adventure in Nobby Land that day, but that night she fell asleep with her new toy and a great feeling inside. Nabbyland is a toy that Misty's father bought for her to play with in the bath. Nabbyland is a magical island toy where some of her favorite characters live. When Misty's mother puts the rabbit shower cap on Misty's head, she suddenly shrinks and lands on Nabbyland. In Nabbyland, adventure can now begin as the characters come alive. Misty can only stay in Nabbyland as long as she is in the bath and is wearing her special rabbit shower cap. Misty's mother takes the cap off Misty's head. She grows back to her normal size and the adventure ends. To be continued when Misty takes her next bath.